Hey guys and welcome to today's Saturday live stream. I hope everyone is doing amazingly, amazingly well. I see we're already quite um, busy in the chat. So how is everyone? How is everyone's Saturday going? I love, I love this live stream because I never know when I start the feed, I never know there's like a delay. So I always end up looking really gormless on the replay for the first like five seconds. So we'll, <laughs> we just, I've just seen it in the monitor. I'm like, great, we're doing the same thing again. <laughs> so how is everybody today? I can see we've already got a lot of chat going lots of people in there so we'll start with a few um hi to everyone so um annika lovely lovely to see you my love william diana just as a side note to anyone that's um watching annika was obviously one of the lucky winners for our giveaway for thirty thousand subscribers we have still got plenty of those um to claim so i'm gonna um leave a link after this i'll leave it in the description box to the video where you can check to see if you are a winner because it's worth Hopping over there because we've still got some unclaimed prizes, so don't miss out. Um, Diana, welcome, my love. Lucy, great to see you. Brittany, welcome. Hilpri, amazing, amazing to see you, my love. How is everyone's Saturday going? I'm here. I've got my tea on the go. It's red, so it's piping hot. I think that's supposed to mean it's piping hot. So we are all good and we can get on with some questions. Sophie, hello my love, hello Ian, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is so busy today already, which we love. Last, I think last week's live stream was um, the most watched of anyone that we've ever had. So we broke the record for that, which is amazing. Today we're up against the rugby apparently here in the UK. I, I don't really watch sport, I, well, I like cricket, I don't really watch rugby. But apparently we're up against rugby where I think I think it's England or something. England against, uh, I'm going to guess Ireland, but we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> so we're up against that, so we'll see how it goes from the UK side. Um, Tom will be um, moderating um, again today, so thank you so, so much to Tom, who's done an amazing um, job and has already got in there before me to remind everyone, join our Facebook group if you haven't. It is lively over there. I, I thought when I set the group up, you guys have been asking for it for a while, so I set it up. And I thought, you know, it'd be good. There'd be some good conversation going. I didn't realise how engaged everyone would be. It's absolutely amazing. So if you want to, you know, fangirl over some skincare, head over to um, the Facebook group um, where you'd be more, more than welcome. I think we're up to like 400 members already and it's growing every single day. Patty, welcome, my love. Thank you so, so much for joining. Irglobe, welcome, my love. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Adri, great to see you. See you. I'm my. I'm gonna try and keep on top of the questions today. I'll fail. I always do. And then straight after the live stream, we have my evening skincare routine. I I filmed the video and I was kind of like. When do I upload it? And I thought in an evening, it'd be good. Well, here in the UK, it's the evening anyway. So, you know, maybe you'll want to join me to do your own skincare routine during it or whatever. But I thought I haven't done an updated evening skincare routine in a while. So that's coming straight after the live. You all get redirected um, to my evening skincare routine. So um, look out for that. Um, so look, Jack, welcome, my love. Ashley, great to see you. Happy Saturday to you too, my love. Anyone that I've missed out as I'm scrolling, very much welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Molly, great to see you. I'd say that it is... Um, so the channel's growing every single week. So if you are here for the first time, we do these um, live streams every Saturday, UK time, 6 p.m. I should make an effort to at least learn a couple of other time stamps for that. I'll do that, it's next week's task. Um, but you're more than welcome to join us every single week. Um, for everyone that's new, welcome. Anyone that's been here um, a long while, we love you all. So if we have our first question from Molly, which is, hope you had a, Rob, hope you had a lovely week. I did, I, what did I do this week? See, I'm getting sidetracked already. What did I do this week? It's kind of, we were just, it's just a chill week. It's been a nice chill week. Um, I've got a few things filmed. I'm trying to get ahead of the whole filming schedule. Um, so I did quite a bit of filming. I had some great conversations um, with some brands, which is some exciting stuff that's coming up. Also, cat hair. I've got cat hair all over me, so just excuse that. And also super exciting, I signed off the final shipping order payment of everything for the skincare line for the mad about skin skincare line so it seems like it's a long way off to april but you kind of have to order everything up front so that was a little bit on the scary side but also super exciting anyway back to molly's question sorry molly i got sidetracked is it better to use hyaluronic acid in the morning or in the evening um you can use it both i think with hyaluronic acid you've got to use something after it so you've got to have that hydrate your skin has to be hydrated before you put it on and then it has to lock it in so i would say um use like a toner or something nice beforehand put your hyaluronic acid onto the damp skin and then put your moisturizer on top Sorry, I've got this cat hair. This is my 
Marcel. Those of you that watch this channel a lot will know Marcel. He's very hairy and I've got it stuck to my face. The struggles, the daily struggles. So I'd say, Molly, it doesn't matter whether you use it in the morning or evening. I think the most important thing is that you apply it to damp skin and you always make sure you top it off with a moisturiser or something afterwards. Um, Leah, welcome. Hi, Rob. Hope you're doing good. I'm amazing. Thank you. I was wondering if you have any tips for not getting irritated when wearing a mask. Ugh. Oh. Yes, the mask, the mask saga. Um, I think it can be really difficult on your skin. Depends how off, how long you're wearing the mask. A lot of people call out this thing called maskne, which is like mask acne, it's like shoved together. It's not really a thing for people that wear it a couple of 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. That's really something that happens with people that wear it day in, day out. You know, if you're something like a teacher, healthcare professional, even, you know, I know that um, public transport drivers and workers here in the UK have to wear them all the time. That's when you can see that irritation and maskne. I think there's a misconception that we are gonna, since skin's gonna suffer if we wear a mask for like 10 minutes to pop to the shops. It's not gonna happen. So I don't know your personal situation, um, Leah, and how often you have to wear, how, for how long you have to wear the mask. But I would say if you're wearing a mask all day, my top tip would be go super simple in the morning. So wake up, put your, you know, cleanse the skin, put your favorite, put a serum on, you know, something that's a bit hydrating, and then put your moisturizer on, done put your mask on and then do it for the rest of the day. When you get back, as soon as you get in, as soon as you get in that door, don't do anything but do your evening skincare routine first, even if it's like four o'clock in the evening. Still do that evening skincare routine because that will just get everything that's on the skin off. It will just help to rebalance and reset everything and also add some hydration back. Um, I'd also include uh, BHA, salicylic acid, just to dial everything down and help you know any congestion you might have. My top tip, but I say keep it simple in the morning and go to town in the evening. Jenny, Welcome, my love. And Jenny makes a really good point here. Happy first day of spring, everyone. It is officially the first day of spring. And I know this um, because it's the opposite of my mum and dad's wedding anniversary, which is this month in July. So it's like the opposite. So I can always remember on the 21st where everything happens or there or thereabouts. So happy first day of spring to everybody. It does feel like it in the UK. We're actually quite sunny at the moment. We've got sun is shining. It's still a little bit cold, but the daffodils are out. And that's like my favourite flower in the whole world feel free to share what your favorite flower is but as soon as i see daffodils i'm like summer it's sunny it's yeah it's just everything um so very very happy spring to you jenny my love uh, anita says hi my first live stream with rob anita you are more than welcome, my love. We do them every single week. So whether you can catch everyone, we have some people that join us every single week. Some people dip in and out depending on um, what they're doing. But every week we have them here at 6 p.m. UK time and you'd be more than welcome. So Anita, welcome, my love. Happy first live stream. Abigail says first time at a live event. We've got a couple of first timers, which I'm, you know, always, always welcome. Um, so for, hi to everybody who's joining for the first time. Um, so Patty says, first day of spring, sun is shining in South Carolina over in the US. Patty, happy first day of spring to you, my love. Um, let's have a look. Oh, we've got a question from Diana who says, any mineral sunscreen suggestions for dry, sensitive, acne-prone skin? Now, Diana, I haven't been ignoring it. I did read your comment the other day and I thought I need to look into that because... I know loads of suggestions for dry, um, acne-prone skin, but with the sensitive bit, I just want to be super careful because I don't want to recommend something, slap on your face and it increases sensitivity. So I have got it, it's on my, I've got a lot to do list here. I've got to do list of questions that I'm kind of working on and that is one of them. Um, and I will get back because I found quite a few that I think are great for dry um, acne prone skin, but they all seem to have like either essential oils that could be a little bit triggering. So I kind of want to pull it together. I might do a whole video on it if people think that would be useful because it's a specific skin type, but one that a lot of people do have. So um, definitely, definitely, definitely will be getting some recommendations to you. Um, Jack says, this is the first day of spring already. I know, we are whizzing, whizzing through 2021. Um, I I think for a lot of people, that's probably a good thing because there's lots of things I think we have to look forward to in the back end, hopefully, of 2021. Um, and 2021, I think, started a lot like 2020 kind of went on. Um, so I, I, you know, I think a lot of people are happy to see it move quickly. But we are, we are racing through. I can't believe we're nearly in August. It's terrifying. MP says, hi, Rob. I'd like your opinion about Revolution Intense Peeling for Sensitive Skin. Have you ever tried it? I'm looking for a trustworthy PHA product, but the Inculus one is always out of stock. So MP, I have tried it. I actually really like Revolution skincare at the moment. I've gone full circle on them. Didn't like them at first. I thought they were like a poor man's ordinary. You know, they're just copycat. They were just copying the ordinary and not really bringing anything new. And then they launched a whole suite of new skincare, which I loved. So I'm back on the Revolution skincare and I think they're really good. Their intense peeling for sensitive skin 
is a great option. I think the marketing is a little bit misleading. It's not going to be intense. It's actually a very gentle um, exfoliating solution. So I think the marketing is a bit off because actually you want that if you've got sensitive skin. You want a very dialed back gentle. So it's a great option. It's a good dupe for the Inky List. I personally prefer the Inky List marginally, but you're right, it's always out of stock. So if you can't get your hands on it, it will do a really, really good job. I wish they'd just change it from intense to appropriate. I imagine you, that's this Marcel cat hair is still very much present. We'll we'll struggle on through that for the rest of the video, probably. <laughs> yeah, but I think if you call it like an appropriate peeling solution, that ain't gonna sell any bottles. So I guess why they I know why they do the intense, but it's a little bit uh, misleading. I think it's a very gentle exfoliator that's gonna work. So I definitely recommend it if you have sensitive skin. Uh, C Shine says, "Hey, what do you um what do you do when um when section of your face is dry, nose to chin?" This, yeah, so this is a little bit, this is a little bit um, difficult. A lot of people have different, maybe the cheeks are usually drier, T-zone is usually oilier. You, what I'd say to do is if you have one area that's oilier than, um, that's drier than the rest, just add an extra serum in that area. Add an extra hydrating serum in that area and keep the rest the same. So basically you're not having to have a separate skincare routine for different parts of your face, but you can treat that area. Also, you could buy a hydrating mask, like a, um, a mask that you apply to the skin and just apply it to that area every once or twice a week and you'll get some great benefits. So I'd say be, don't invent a whole new skincare routine and have two separate ones going for the different parts of the skin. Just add some extra hydration in. I realised that William just said, I'm just going through the chat, William just said, just show time. So I'm already 12 minutes behind, basically, is what we're saying. <laughs> so I'm going to try and pick it up. Um, ah, so Tom has the ultimate question. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to have a sip of my tea before I lose my voice. So if you haven't already, if you could smash that like button, we're already at 60 likes. I think you guys have the drill already. But don't smash it. We don't smash anything on this channel. It's too aggressive. If you could gently apply some pressure to the like button um, and give it a thumbs up. I much appreciate it. And I'm just gonna have a drink of my tea. Which is so good, loving that tea. So Tom has the ultimate question, which I'm gonna try to answer, but how would you describe the shop room spray? <laughs> um, so this is the one where, if you remember Desium came out with their room spray, which is um, designed to smell like the Desium shop, like Desium experience. And I thought, oh, do you know what they offered to send me it and i said yes and i thought i'll try it because you know but i'm not really into the whole mist thing so i fell in love literally loved it you'll see it actually after this video we go straight over to my evening skincare routine video and i use it in that because i am addicted to the smell of it it's so good and it's kind of like the first genuinely like unique scent everything is quite vanilla -y when it comes to room mists or it's quite like lily of the valley or you might get you know a little bit of like fresh linen and all of that which i love but this is kind of earthy and unique and it's kind of like if you crossed a room mist like a really nice room mist with like a really light guy's cologne and kind of mixed it together you end up with this really light but earthy a kind of rich scent. I love it. All I could say is if you get the opportunity to go into a Decim store and smell it, definitely do. I don't want to tell you you have to go out and buy it because whilst I fangirl about it, I guess scent is unique, but it is so, so good. So, so good. I hope they'll do, like Tom um, mentioned earlier, that if you go to the Face Theory um, website, they do a scent and they'll actually send you a sample of their scent so you can try it before you buy it. Kind of hope that Desim would kind of cotton onto that and do that for their room mist so that we can have a free sample before we commit to like the full bottle. That's what I hope is coming. Hey, Manuel, welcome, my love. I'm so, so glad you could make it. And you say you're still at work. Well, stay as long as you can, my love, and I hope work isn't going too bad for you. Um, Annika, hello my love. Um, everything is wonderful here. I've got my tea, I've got my chat. We, we are good to go. We are good to go. I've been trying a couple of new things this week. I got this. I don't know if you guys remember my Korean skincare video which I did earlier this month and I was trying this. This is the Wonder Black Rice Face Oil and I said I really liked it but the smell. I've been using this every day. Um, this and the Face Theory Tamanu Oil are like my two favourites at the moment. Lavender stunning it's not great if you've got sensitive skin because it's got lavender oil in it but for everyone else it is divine and it is one of my favorite favorite um things at the moment so i've been using that this week and loving it so i think that's going to become a good fixture and then we've got this this is the sim bright moisturizer from the inky list do you remember i i tried the fulvic acid which actually again appears in my um evening skincare routine 
I tried the fulvic acid brightening one and I quite liked it. It's quite a good product. It's better for oily skin, I think, than dry skin. But this is like the counterpart, the Simbright moisturizer. I've been using this um, for the past couple of days to see what I think. Um, jury's out, I'll let you know. I just, I think to say it's gonna brighten, jury's out, let's see about that. But I am giving it a try, so I'll let you know what I think um, down the line, because I know it's super popular. Uh, Lucy said, it doesn't feel like spring here, I'm snowed in. Lucy, I'm sending you lots and lots of love, and I hope um, some warmth with it as well. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Sophia says, happy Saturday, welcome my love. Um, what other things that I've been doing this when I finish this live stream with my thing is my ritual after I do my evening skincare routine after um the live stream just for a chill session and they've got to, lots and lots to catch up with Eurovision because that is coming in May I'm super excited if you don't know what it is google it I can't explain it it's just madness and um, a lot of the new songs have come out so I'm going to do a little bit of googling of that and kind of get myself prepared and <laughs> Molly says hi Ron from Florida send you lots and lots of love to Florida thank you so much for sharing your knowledge it's an absolute pa um, pleasure my love do you have any recommendations for extremely moisturizing SPF mineral sunscreens and um, to be honest Molly I'll be totally honest with you it is impossible to get a really moisturizing um, mineral sunscreen the way that they work, the two key filters are just quite drying in their um, nature, so it's really difficult to get a hydrating one. Um, some of the most hydrating ones, I always mentioned the Badger one, which I do think is genuinely really hydrating. The Venus Williams 11 one is also on the hydrating side, but it's certainly not super hydrating. If you want to get the extra hydration, what you can do is put a moisturiser on and then put it on top, and that will kind of up the ante in terms of the moisturiser. Um, I know people are loving mineral sunscreens at the moment. I absolutely love them, but I'd say it's so difficult to find an extremely moisturizing mineral sunscreen just because of the filters used. So maybe try if, I don't know what your reason for going specifically for a mineral is, you could go for something that's a hybrid. So if you go for a hybrid sunscreen, which I did a video on, and there's some great hydrating recommendations, that cuts down on the chemical filters because it also combines mineral filters as well. So it's a balance of both. Um, that could be a good option if you want to go super hydrating, but you want to cut down on the amount of chemical filters in them. A hybrid could work for you. Um, William says, Hi Rob, what's your opinion on scar fading creams? Do they work? No. <laughs> it's a short answer, no. Um, I, I don't know all of them. There are some out there that I'm sure do do some work. Just generally speaking, I think they're cleverly marketed and usually come with a higher price tag. If you want to fade scarring, you need to use, it's the same as like a pigment corrector. Um, the best things to do is seek dermatologist advice to actually get some laser therapy, some light therapy in there. That's the best way of dealing with it. In terms of the other stuff you can use, things like tranexamic acid, if it's very red and raised, can help. There's lots of things that will help, but using a scar cream, I usually find is just an overpriced way of delivering something like tranexamic acid or other pigment correctors. But if anyone's got experience with them, share them because I'm open to suggestions. Um, Leah says, um, another question. You are welcome. Get your questions in, my love. You are welcome to ask any you want. I ordered products from Face Theory, Exaglow, love, um, and Azelaic Acid, and they arrived completely frozen. Does that impact the effect? Oh, well, I don't know why they arrived completely frozen. I have no idea about that, but they shouldn't impact um, the effect of the azelaic acid. In terms of the extra glow, again, I know, I don't think it will. It could affect the texture slightly, but it shouldn't impact the overall performance. What I would do is I'd reach out to Face Theory. Their customer service is so good. I'd ask them and just say, this is the situation. Don't know how it happened. Don't know what was going on. Um, can you give me a little bit of advice? And they will, they'll get back to you really quickly and they'll sort it out for you, my love. Shelly says, happy Saturday, Rob and everyone. Hello Shelly, welcome my love. I get confused about what I can use together in a routine. Can I use a toner, the Inculist PHA toner, with the Copper Amino Isolate and Survival Zero all together? You can. Basically, yes, Shelly. In a nutshell, you can. What I would do is between the PHA toner um, and the copper amino isolate, I'd put something else in there. Do you have like a serum, like a hydrating serum you like to use or something that'll just buffer out some of the acidity from the toner? Leave the toner on for like three minutes, then put something on that'll buffer it out and then continue with your routine. That's the usual thing. Anyone that's worried about using an acid in their routine alongside other things, just buffer it out with a hydrating toner or, you know, a little hyaluronic acid if you like hyaluronic acid. You know, something like that. Anita says, beautiful sunny day here in the mid-Atlantic US. I sending lots of love to anyone over in the US. Here in the UK, we are definitely on summer watch. Um, that we have just had announcements. I think everyone 
was hoping um, that we might be getting a summer holiday this year. I think that might have just been dashed. Um, <laughs> I was watching one of the government announcements. Didn't seem like we we're going to be, you know, going all over the world this year, which is, you know, it's fine, is what it is. But I think everyone had kind of got the hopes on maybe sunning themselves on a beach later this year. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, so sending lots and lots of love to anywhere where it's super sunny. Um, Laura says, hello, hello, Laura. Thanks for joining, my love. Uh, Fran says, hey, guys, um, I'll at least be joined for the 10 minute before I need to leave. Fran, you are always welcome. I saw your picture on, just before I logged in, um, into here actually on the Facebook group your skin looking snatched literally like Paulus perfection so um, do like Franz if you want any tips and hints on how to get that flawless glowing look Franz is your man and thank you so much for sharing um, your selfies everyone over on um, the uh, Facebook group because it's been really good to see different people's skin their perception their routines what they're tackling and it can be really good because the Facebook group is completely private we made it private because I think it was it was actually um, Celia um, who's great supporter of the channel she um, mentioned about having it private I think I totally agreed with her. It makes it more of a private space where we can share a little bit more freely and know that it is kept within the group of people that have joined. So if you want to um, join, um, I know that um, Tom's leaving the links in the chat. So just click over there, join the Facebook group. Uh, you'd be more, more than welcome. Um, Brittany says, I'm buying my sister an entire room routine for her to start using. Oh, you are a great sister. You are a great sister. <laughs> she uses cleanser and moisturizer sometimes and wants to start a solid routine. What are the necessary steps? I think once you've got your clip, find the right cleanser for your skin type. That's your first step, because I think if you're using the wrong cleanser, you're starting your routine off on the wrong foot. So work out what your skin type is roughly and don't fixate on skin type like some people do, but just think about what skin type is. If you're dry, go for a balm. If you're oily, go for a gel as a general rule. Get the cleanser right. Get your moisturizer right as well. So go for something thicker if you've got dry skin. If you've got oily skin like me and you're blemish prone, go for something gel like. And then in terms of what I'd stick in between, I would probably go for um, two serums which target what you're looking to or your sister's looking to achieve. So ask her, does she feel like she has dull skin? What is, the, what is her main concern? Does she feel like her skin's a bit dull and lacklustre? Does she worry about acne and breakouts? Or does she worry about hyperpigmentation? Yeah, what are her two main concerns and things she'd like to change? If it's something like ageing, get a peptide. If it's something like um, acne and breakouts, get an azelaic acid. You know, there's lots of things. So if you, what, what I'd say, Brittany, is ask your sister what her two co um, concerns are. Drop me a message either on Instagram where we're at Skin Mad or over on the Facebook group um, and I'll quite happily give you two um, serum suggestions that are affordable because I always think it's when you're starting a new skincare routine particularly if you're gifting it to someone which is so kind of you I think start affordable because you don't want to start with a super expensive product that you love and then realize you can't afford to buy time and time again so I'll give you some really really affordable um, serum choices that'll work really well. Um, Tuan says hi from Bangkok first time watching our live stream we have a lot of first timers here so thank you all to everyone that's joining for the first time and sending lots of love to Thailand so um, we'd like to know your opinion on prebiotic serum. I love prebiotics. I think they're a great way of helping the microbiome of the skin. I think it's a great way of just ensuring skin health. I don't think they're essential. And I don't think you should be paying too much for them because they're quite trendy, because they're quite new. A lot of people, a lot of companies badge prebiotics and jack the price up ridiculously. So I'd say don't overpay for it. The Inculus Dual Prebiotic, that works really well. I know that um, there's some other brands i'll leave some um prebiotics affordable prebiotics below that work um definitely definitely not a bad thing for your skincare routine and do help but i think companies are a little bit cost a little bit too much uh, Tammy says, hi from Austria, sending lots and lots of love to Austria. Abigail says, I love skincare, but worry about all the waste. Do you consider that? This is a really good question, Abigail. Um, I... I think everything, this is my theory, is everything that we do creates an element of waste. And I think we should be mindful of it. I do think we should be mindful of it. And I think there's two approaches you should take. I like to make sure I recycle everything that's possibly recycled. I'm a little bit, little bit of a recycling zealot. I do get a bit obsessed with it. I make sure everything that can be recycled is recycled. But that's not really the solution because we should not be creating in the first place. Like uh, Recycling is like a fix. It's like the band-aid over the issue. We shouldn't be using in the first place. I do worry about the waste and I do think think companies should be up in their game. I guess the way I look at it is it's for companies to create 
and you know, solutions to this and then us as consumers to then shop those solutions to show companies that we are looking for a lower waste options and um, i noticed for example just as an example because it's a company i'm quite um fond of face theory are doing their zero waste collection which is basically a toiletry bag that you unfold and it's got reusable everything in there that you can do your skincare routine all the tools you need that are reusable so that cuts down on things like cotton rounds face cloths all of that wipes you know skin um makeup wipes so i hope more companies kind of do that and i will be showcasing a few options um, it depends, you know, cutting down on plastic is a great option. Go for glass containers, but then glass also has a waste element to it. So I guess it's for the consumer to make their decision. Um, I am looking into some more lower um, packaging options. And I do notice one thing I will really, really applaud companies for is previously PR packages when they send them out were huge. They came with like drawers that you pulled out with the products all displayed. It was just way too much. And um, I know my, I always used to email you know, companies that send PR products for me to try i used to always message them and say thank you so much for sending really kind can we just cut the packaging down we don't need it you know let's let the product speak uh, i know a lot of other content creators were doing that which is really good um and so actually it's quite good that i think they're listening so pr is coming in more plain packaging like literally i've got some this is the one from typology that they sent just a brown bag with literally their whole collection in this box so i'm like that's so much better so i think there's things that companies can do but we should tell them you know if you like a company and think that they could cut down on the waste get them told email them in a polite way and say i'd love some more zero waste options um Sean, that was a long way of saying yes i do think i do worry about it and i do think we should do more about it <laughs> sean says hey rob hope you're well sean lovely to see you my love hope everything's good with you catherine welcome my love claire lovely to see you Haley, so glad you could join um josh shark says what's your take on lacura skincare love it this is and i always get it wrong the cn and lacura one's little one's aldi they're two european super affordable um supermarkets go for either they're both really great um lacura i'd say are better for the cn is better for micellar water and cleansers lacura is better for sunscreens if you want an affordable sunscreen tried tested and independently verified the lacura one at gonna say aldi because i'm pretty sure it is aldi um is stunning and it's like two pounds it's great. Absolutely great. Tegs, welcome, my love. Hope you're having a great weekend too. Uh, <laughs> William says the rugby's on the telly because I'm too lazy to get the remote. There you go. Well, you can multitask where you've got the rugby and on at the same time. Um, Anita says, loving the Facebook group. Yeah, I'm so, so pleased everyone's joined it. Hello to Jessica, Violet, Laura. I am quite behind with the comments, but I'm plowing on, so I don't miss any. Um, let's have a look. Um, Hayley says, what are my thoughts on um, Elf Skincare? love elf um, i haven't actually tried too much of them and um, but i really do love them i think um i like their vegan options so it gives people that are living a plant-based lifestyle choice i like the fact they're cruelty free i like the price point i need to try a few more to give actual recommendations on these are the products from elf that you need in your life but i'll be looking into them more for sure christine says hi rob great to see your beautiful hydrated skin again I actually woke up from a nap about half an hour before I needed to come on this live stream. So there's a quick dash to like desperately like put some of that hyalamide um, foundation fluid I like. Shoved a bit of that on to kind of get rid of any like sleep redness. Did my hair. Got dressed up for you. So, you know, it's all good. And I'm glad you could join us, my love. Um, any advice on incorporating Adapalene in my skincare? Um... You said that you're you're used to retinol and retinaldehyde already six days a week. I, to be honest, would do a straight swap. If your skin is already used to retinaldehyde and retinol, I think you'll be absolutely fine to do a straight swap. Just listen to what your skin's saying. And if you feel you're getting super dry, because it's slightly more drying than the others you mentioned, just miss a day and then go back to it would be my suggestion. Um, MHM says, hi, Rob, I requested uh, to join the Facebook group, but nothing... Ah... So, so first of all, so sorry about that. I think it might be because um, we had two Facebook groups. The first Facebook group, bit of a disaster. I set it up wrong. Facebook kicked me out of my own group. We couldn't do anything with it. Bit of a mess. It might be that one that you've signed up to. So I'm so, so sorry if that's the case. Um, Tom um, is leaving the comment, in, is leaving the link in the description box. So if you could um, click on the link that's in this chat, we'll approve you straight away. So there's no reason why you haven't been um, accepted into the group. I'm so sorry. It might be that it was the wrong group. Um, so, so sorry about that. But we love to have you there sarah happy happy saturday my love ronnie great to see you uh, your shirt looks amazing and your skin looks great thanks thanks this this shirt was like um my summer purchase for my summer holiday that never happened last year 
I'm still hoping at some point I'll be able to take this on holiday. You never know. <laughs> Joe Will says, lovely to join you again. Thanks, Joe. Great to see you, my love. Um, Claire says, loving the Facebook group. Lots of great people and great advice. Same, Claire. And you know what? I'm loving it because I get to see all your guys' hauls and purchases and what you've been um, loving, which is great because it's kind of, mind you, it's not great for my wallet because I keep seeing things that people are like, oh, just got this. It's amazing. I'm like, oh, I better buy that then. <laughs> I seem to spend a lot more on skincare now the facebook group exists <laughs> but that's all good now i'm gonna have a quick sip of my tea i can't believe we're nearly at 100 likes already so thank you so so much guys i'm gonna have a quick sip of my tea before it goes cold so if you haven't already if you could um tap that like button i would love you forever that is a really good cup of tea really good um, lucy says hi rob a question i always wonder oh i've lost it now how do i always do that how do i always manage to do that um, let me go back to where I think that quite, oh, I am quite behind. Um, t -t 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 let's have a look. I've done those ones. Ah, there we go. Lucy said, hi, Rob, a question I always wonder with my mind's not taken up by skincare. Where in Leeds are you from? <laughs> ah, I lived in Headingley for two years and Berlin the last year before I went back to Austria. Well, for those of you that don't know, I'm from Leeds, which is like a northern town. It's the best town in the UK. Just saying, I might be biased, um, but from a region in um, called Yorkshire in the UK. So um, I actually grew up and spent all my life in Horsforth, which is like a, um, it's on like the outer bit of um, Leeds. It's got more like, um, it's, it's a town, but it's got more like a villagey vibe to it as well. I, lo I love where I'm from. And most of them, you know, I've got lots and lots of family still there as well. So not too far from Headingley where you were, Lucy. So if you ever come back, if you ever come back to the UK um, from Austria, you'd be happy, we'd be happy to join. Um, the YouTube lords say, yay, I made it. Thank you so much for joining. Um, let's have a look. Um, Jill, welcome, my love. Um, t -t 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 <laughs> um, okay, so Franz says, I need to come again next week just to see Rob trying to pronounce my name. Yeah, Franz Templin. I'm going to say, that might be, I, I think I've done all right there. I'm rubbish at pronunciation, so I do apologise, Franz. But you know what? I try. It's, it's meant with love if I do mispronounce. Um, Enna Zai says, hey, from Sunny Island, Singapore. Sending lots and lots of love to Singapore. That's exotic. Bit of Singapore. I, I know I look at the stats of where people join the channel from, and it always blows me away at just how international it was. Um, and what, what I do always say, find funny though is a lot of people leave comments which is so kind of them saying um really enjoy your channel because um it gives me a chance to like brush up on my english and kind of learn some new words and stuff and it always makes me smile because i think that's the worst thing you can do because i've got the worst pronunciation and accent ever <laughs> so i think i hope people don't think when they come to the uk that they all sound like me because i've got a very dodgy accent um lindy welcome my love uh joshua says any good boots or super drug skincare options yes anything from the me boots and super drug for those of you that don't know is a uk the two like big drug stores here in the uk super drug all their own brand stuff is cruelty free which which is a huge ding 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 i love that their me plus range so good they do serums they do a tranexamic acid one divine they do a hyaluronic acid which is okay but affordable great option so any of the me plus range great from superdrug in terms of boots and i really really like they do a glycerin and rose water like toner which I, it isn't right for my skin because it's a bit too it's a bit too um hydrating but it's a great option um and it's like a pound really great it's that in their old fashioned you have to look it's right at the bottom of the shelf because it's like they're old fashioned they're not trying to sell it anymore but right at the bottom so good though um and i also really like their um vitamin c range so so good or again, cruelty free, great option. Um, Annika says, I, um, I've used the Derma E mineral sunscreen for the first time today with a bit of sun um, tribe mineral sunscreen on top and it was white cast central. I look like Snow White. Annika, I bet you rocked the look anyway, my love. I bet you rocked it out. Um, Derma E, I love it. It's affordable, it's great. But yeah, I haven't tried their sunscreen, but I have heard that, you know, maybe it's a little bit too on the brightening side if you're looking for that ashy look <laughs> so um thanks for calling that out joe says what do you recommend for milia around the eyes i recommend you tune in on monday joe when my video is all about milia how to prevent it what to do when you've got it um in a nutshell um light exfoliation works really well and that seems really alarming when you talk about around the eye but in that video i document how you can do it safely and some of the really safe options to use because i wouldn't recommend everyone get out there you know peeling solution start using it on the eye and um, but there are some ways of doing it that can um help get rid of the milia and also some tips to make sure it's not coming back and um, so that'll be monday's video and i know a lot of you guys have called
called out for that, so hopefully you find that super useful. Adam, welcome, my love. Um, Hillbury's Boy Toy is here watching the stream for the first time. Welcome, my love, and I'm so, so glad you are, so thank you so much for joining. Tina, welcome, welcome. Um, what's your question? What's the one product that you've been loving? I've been using Mugwort all week, and it's so soothing. I have as well. Do you know what, Tina? I'm going to join you, rummage around, and I'm going to join you and say one of my favourite things at the moment is this. Spot a saver mugwort. Tina, we are on. We actually, with me and Tina have, with the exception of CeraVe, which Tina loves, I don't, we tend to like all the same products. So it's funny that you call out mugwort as being one of your favourites, because this is on my vanity at the moment, is one of my favourite products. Um, I'd say between this and this, this is the Isentree Mugwort Spot Saver Ampule. Great if you've got dry, acne prone skin, and the Wonder um, that I mentioned earlier. Both. Stunning. Both are so, so good. <laughs> Abby Ernest says, hey Rob, hey my love, welcome, thanks for joining. Philippa, hey Rob, do you have any lip SPF recommendations? Still haven't found a cruelty-free and vegan one that doesn't leave a white cast. I don't know where you are in the world, my love, but here in the UK, if you go to Superdrug, which I mentioned before, they do an own brown one, which is an SPF 20, um, and is really good, quite hydrating as well, and is vegan and cruelty free. I will do a di bit of digging to find out, because what I don't want to do is recommend ones that aren't vegan, if you're asking for a vegan one, so I'll leave um, some recommendations in the description box below. Uh, <laughs> Ronnie says, I have two dogs that are shedding bad, so I'm full of hair. I, the skin, you know, my skin is constantly just covered in animal hair. So I hear you, Ronnie. I hear you. I think I think I got that hair from earlier. I think it's gone. <laughs> I think it's gone. <laughs> Christina says, "Hey, I'm all six week old newbie follower here. This is my first Q and A, Christina." You are very welcome, my love. I'm just wondering, is it um, true that steric acid and palatinic acid can keep high pigmentation um, in liver and worsen it? Um, I think the jury's out there. Um, it's it can it can make there are some things which can trigger hyperpigmentation but i'd say most of these things only make it worse if you already have hyperpigmentation if you're prone to it if you're not the chances of it triggering it are minimal and um, i think if you're prone to hyperpigmentation and suffer with it then you've got to be much more careful with what you use to not make it worse if you've never had hyperpigmentation or have it very rarely most of the things that people call triggers won't have that impact if that makes sense um but i'll leave i'll dig out a study because i was reading one on that a couple of weeks ago so i'll find it and i'll leave it below Amy says, hey Rob, um, what schedule should I use for retinol and lactic acid? Are they okay to use on the same night or rotate? I would personally use lactic acid in the morning and retinol in the evening. You could use them on the same day, but I think in the same routine it might be a bit sensitizing. So I would use it in the morning, your lactic acid, because it'll just hydrate the skin and get you looking glowing to the gods for the rest of the day. And then in the evening, use your retinol. JK loves Maui. Welcome, my love. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're staying safe as well, my love. Sending lots of love to Florida. Um, I'm just going to have a quick sip of my tea. I can't believe we've got 170 people watching and um, it's these get bigger every single week and I love every single one of you for joining so thank you so so much and um, I'm if you haven't already if you click that like button to support the channel as it helps YouTube know what the quality of the content is there which hope I hope it is <laughs> I'm gonna have a sip of my tea so if you could hit that like button if you haven't already And I'm drinking that really quick. I think sometimes when you wake up for a nap, I think I nap with my mouth open, which means I'm really dry. You didn't need to know that, but I'm sharing anyway. I'm oversharing anyway. Um, Sophia says, hi, Rob. Is it okay to use Neod's um, copper amino isolate serum and survival together or will it affect the copper peptides? You could absolutely use it together. The only antioxidant I wouldn't use with the copper amino isolate serum is the EUK134 by um, The Ordinary, which can impact it sometimes. Again, it's not that big a deal, but that's the one I'd stay away from. The survival works beautifully together. Tammy says, hi, could you recommend a moisturiser with an SPF? For combination, breakout prone skin. I find it too heavy to use two separate products, moisturiser and an SPF. I do as well. I tend to use an SPF which is moisturising enough, so I don't need to then throw um, a, a separate moisturiser and sunscreen because I find them a little bit too much together. Um, if you've got breakout prone skin and you're a little bit on the oily but also on the dry side, I personally would go for one of the Alpha H sunscreens, which I find to be kind of the perfect balance. They just work really well for me um alpha h is i think they're an australian brand cruelty free they're really good they're also tried and tested their sunscreens um and so i would probably recommend one of those and um, they do a range and i just read up on you know some of the reviews of which one works best for different people but i swear by them and i find that when i use them they are more than hydrating enough that i don't need a separate moisturizer isabel says hi do you think a revecting treatment tone is better than the had a labo premium i haven't tried any um isabel i'm so sorry I, you can't get revecting here in the uk you 
can at some places, but it's very hard to get hold of. And Had a Labo is sold as super drug again here. Super drug's getting a lot of call outs today. Um, but again, it's always sold out. So I haven't actually been able to try either of them. On the ingredients alone, I'd probably go for Had a Labo because I haven't looked into both of them because I want to try them. Um, I'd probably go for the Had a Labo one, but it's personal choice. So if you guys have tried either of them, leave it in the comment below. Um, beautiful Waterfall. Oh, look at that name. I love that. It says best acne spot treatments for combination purging caused by BHA sulfur benzoyl peroxide sulfur. I like benzoyl peroxide, but I find it dries. So sometimes, particularly if you have prone to hyperpigmentation, it can dry things out. Sulfur's great. I love the Inculist um, Sacinic Acid Spot Treatment, which is sulfur based, um, but that's because it's the only one you can get here in the UK very well. But in, internationally, you can get sulfur much more easily. It's so cheap and it works so well. I would put sulfur on those areas where you need it, and overnight your skin will look so much better. Um, um, Diana says, looking for a great antioxidant and alternative peptide to sub-Q skin for dry, sensitive, acne-prone skin. Oh, I would say if you're looking for an alternative peptide, depends what your budget. The two that I would call out as being really, really good are um, the Inculus Collagen Booster, which is great for dry, sensitive skin because it's so hydrating, so hydrating. But also the Medicate um, peptides are really good, but that is quite expensive. But again, it is like a thirst quench for the skin so so good and I would definitely recommend that but you have to look at the price point and work out whether it's right for your budget because Medicaid a little bit on the pricey side but I do think it's kind of justified with the amount of hydration and the multi-level peptides you get it's so so good uh, Ronnie says um, let's have a look uh, oh it's saying about mug try mugwort I recommend every, I held off from trying mugwort for so so long because I just wasn't I didn't like the name and I wasn't sold on the hype around it tried it and I'm loving that ampule so definitely recommend it um Leah says, thank you. Oh, we've gone back to one of the original questions where I said, how long to wear a mask for? And Leah says, where's it for 10 hours a day in school? It's exhausting. I can imagine, Leah, my heart goes out to you and anyone that has to wear it um, for that long. Again, I think then the key thing for you is as soon as you get in, take your mask off, do your full evening skincare routine because that'll get back the hydration. It'll tackle any congestion in the skin and hopefully it'll just freshen everything up because some of the issues people get is the bacteria builds up under it. It's just a whole hot mess under there. So do your evening skincare routine as soon as you can. Andy says, hey Rob, I have a... Um, and Jally, even, if I get the name right. I'm so sorry for mispronouncing, mispronouncing that. I have normal combination skin, and I'm unsure about which cleanser to use. I find that some make my skin feel tight and dry. Do you have any recommendations? So normal combination skin, um, it depends uh, It depends on your price point. I find if you have normal to combo skin, um, the fulvic acid brightening one by the Inculus would be great. It's not great for dry skin, but that combination skin, I find it quite balancing, so I quite like that. I really, really enjoy the balancing cleanser by Alpha H. I think that does everything you need if you want to balance the skin but you also um, want some moisture in there the alpha h balancing cleanser is a really really good option as well and won't leave you tight and dry but i think if you want to go super super affordable that fulvic acid brightening one so so good you'll see it in action after this video um once we finish at quarter past seven here in the uk so in 30 minutes time um we close down the live and everyone gets transferred over to today's video which is on my evening skincare routine and you'll be able to see that fulvic acid in um action to see if you like how it looks and things so i'd probably recommend that one um jade said hi basically my skin barrier was damaged for about seven months and i don't know but i've cut back on everything to just basic routine it's been about two months and it seems to be not getting any better and um, jade i would say if you've cut right back and nothing seems to be working um i would probably recommend um seeing a professional a dermatologist or a doctor just to make sure everything's good because i think it is unusual for something to remain that severe and obviously i don't know what your individual um how it's manifesting itself and um, so I'd probably recommend seeing a professional just to get that clear that there's nothing underlying, make sure everything's good, and they'll be able to recommend some things to build that barrier up. Sophie said, um, Super Drew have a good, great ceramide serum. They do, actually. Their ceramide serum is a great dupe, great dupe for a lot of the um, CeraVe. So if you want to ditch CeraVe and get a really nice ceramide in your routine, then I think Super Drug is the way forward. Tress says, hi Rob, a question, if I'm using hyaluronic acid, then collagen, both inculist, ending with face theory regina C moisturizer, but I'm finding the surface of my skin looks stressed, fine lines are also visible. Um, so it seems like you've got some really good stuff going on there. You've got the collagen boosting for the peptides, you've got the hyaluronic acid, and the um, you've got some vitamin C as well. Um, I would say if you're finding the surface of your skin looks like you've got those fine lines, then I would say maybe change up the peptide that you're using and try something a little bit different. That could help. 
and um, I would also say with your vitamin C try derivative just to make sure that it's not stressing the skin out try a uh, derivative and see if that helps because that Regina C is gorgeous but it's quite a high strength vitamin C so maybe switch that up that's the two things I changed because I actually think the routine you said seems really good and like it's going to target what you want it to hey Colin thank you so so much for joining Luna says hey Rob what's your favorite product from face theory Luna you can't make me choose that it's impossible it's like choosing between your favorite children you just can't do it however I will and I'll probably say at the moment oh at the moment I'm really liking their glycolaxal um toner which is like a really great exfoliator um from face I love their green tea mask that is got literally gorgeous I love their green tea mask um I've got my hands on some of their make new they've just launched makeup and whilst I don't wear makeup day to day I like a little bit of, you know concealer and stuff and um, they sent me that to try I've been trying that and so far that's looking good so hopefully I'll be able to share in one of the videos a bit of a demo of that for you everything I've tried from face theory is really good um, but I'd probably say if you want to try something for the first time from face theory I would probably go extra glow which is great for hyperpigmentation or any of the ones I mentioned. All good, all good. And I do have, for those of you that are new, I've got a code for Face Theory, which is capital letters Mad About Skin 25, which gets you 25% off everything online. I don't get any coins, not an affiliate. I don't get paid to promote it or anything. Um, it's just out there. If you do want to save some money, 25% off. Who doesn't want that? How to Tech It says, I love that name as well. Hi, Rob. I was having some flakiness on my arm, but the flakiness is the part where I have a nice moisturized skin. I'm very confused what's happening. Sometimes it's just the body doing its natural exfoliation. I would say, give it a chance give it a couple of weeks and it should balance itself out if it doesn't then maybe go with a light exfoliator on that area just to speed things up but as long as your skin feels hydrated i won't worry too much about the flaking ronnie says i'm looking for good recommendations for an spf for mature skin with dry sensitive skin with rosacea um oh because of the rosacea ronnie i'll have to leave i'll leave some recommendations in the description box below um i would i've got some great recommendations for hydrating but just because of the rosacea i just want to double check some of the ingredients to make sure for you but i'll leave you some um in the description box below i am going to take a quick sip i cannot believe we are already 45 minutes in so many viewers so many new sub, uh, people joining for the first time so thank you so much if you haven't joined the facebook group now's your chance if you haven't um subscribed to the channel don't forget click the subscribe button click the bell do all of the youtubey things that people always tell i never like tell people to do that in videos because i always think it's a bit like it's not great but do what everyone else tells you <laughs> i'm gonna have a quick sip of my tea and then we'll get on with some more questions Hmm. let's have a look um we have um t -t 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 uh, nasa says i am the most polite youtuber ever <laughs> thank you well i just think when people say smash that like button and they usually do like some fist pump or something i'm always like oh uh, i don't want to smash anything or anything why can we not just tap things <laughs> i don't want to act that's like dodgy you know what i mean you know what i mean we try we try to be polite here we don't we don't smash things and um, ronnie says welcome to the first time watchers it's an amazing group and rob is wonderful ronnie Thank you so much. I'm just here for the compliments, really. Uh, no, but honestly, for everyone that's joining for the first time, we pride ourselves at Mad About Skin to be non-judgmental. We don't like, I always think fragrance is a great example. Biggest d drama in the skincare world is always fragrance or no fragrance. And people get very hit up about it. And I'm always like, non-judgmental, we'll give options for everyone. The same goes for things people that are like vegan. We always like to give a good vegan option, but I also give some non-vegan options. We're totally non-judgmental, so whatever you want, join us and you will be more than welcome all the time. Um, one of my um, one of my tips with masks is using zinc oxide sunscreen, physical or hybrid. If you have to wear a mask all day, it helps me. This is a really good option, actually. So zinc oxide will help absorb. This is great for people with oily skin that have to wear a mask all day. Using a zinc oxide um, underneath it, sunscreen is fine but you can just get it on its own as well will just help to mattify everything and help tone down some of the excess oil that you feel that masks sometimes can bring um anita says so thank actually just thanks for sharing that that's such a good um point anita says first time i've ever been called my love i'm swooning <laughs> i do say basically i think this is a northern so where i'm um, where I'm from in the north of the UK, we call everyone love. And I, even though I don't live there anymore, I, I moved away a few years ago, it kind of stuck. So I call everyone love because I, and I think it's nice. I think it's nice. There was a time when some people were like, when I first came down here and some people were like, oh, is it coming on to me? I'm like, no, 
<laughs> it's just it's just too and dimmer. So yeah, sending lots and lots of love to everyone out there. Sophia says, yes, please. I would love a video on dry acne prone sensitive skin. It is coming, Sophia, because I do know a lot of people have that issue. I covered it in um, ac dry acne prone skin, but with the sensitive element, it's so important. So I will definitely do a video on that. Um, Suzanne says, it's snow today in Slovenia. Suzanne, first of all, sending you lots of love. And for anyone that's snowed in, I, I'm sending lots and lots of love to Slovenia. International language of dance. My, uh, I'm so glad. Every time you join, my love, I, I love, love, love your name. Because um, you're right, dance is the international language. <laughs> Good evening, great to see you too, my love. Um, Brittany says, I love your vibe right now. Your hair looks really deconstructed but stylish. <laughs> Thank you so much. Brittany, I think that is the nicest thing anyone said. This, this look, this is the lockdown. I haven't actually been to the barbers for three months now. Here in the UK, they've been closed for a good three months. Since it's before Christmas, I think. Um, I had to go doing the sides. Luckily, did my own sides. They came off great. The back is a hot mess. That's a different story. But as no one can ever see the back of my head, no one needs to know. Um, and the barbers have been shut for so, so long. And I see people, I see people walking around the streets with their illegal haircuts, looking snatched with their fades. And I want to know where they've got that done. Because <laughs> I've been sticking to the rules and have, you know, wearing this mop with pride. Um, I've got my appointment at the salon booked for the 16th of um, April. Not that I'm counting down. 16th of April is the, like the first thing, most thing I'm looking forward to it so I'm gonna and I'm probably gonna go super short but then I kind of don't mind like it's a whole like we'll see I noticed quite a few people that haven't I don't know if it's the same globally but here in the UK I know a load of um people that have been hiding their greys for years and years and years and then haven't been able to get to the salon so the greys have come through and have kind of decided to embrace it and they look stunning like stunning one of my friends went great really early and was dying it the her hair so black and so dark I'm like oh when I look at how gorgeous her hair looks great, I'm like, it looks stunning. So I kind of, maybe, I, maybe I'll embrace the lockdown look. <laughs> um, that's how I look. Um, Andrea says, hey Rob, I really like the video about you. Very nice. Thank you so much. Lots of you guys were asking questions. So I thought, well, sit down, let's film, uh, you know, all about me. It just feels really weird talking about yourself. Um... I, I have no issue with it. I'm not like one of these secret, super secretive people that doesn't like to share anything. It just seems really weird to sit down and talk about yourself. So hopefully it kind of came off with the right vibes, that video, because I didn't want it to be like, this is me. I'm the most important person in the world. But I kind of wanted to answer some of your questions. So thanks to anyone that watched and commented on that video. So kind. Anna says, hello, Rob. Thanks to binge watching your videos. I was finally able to improve my skin. Yes, thank you so much. Um, I'm still struggling with sunscreen though. Any thoughts on the Ultra Sun SPF 30 face? Um, First of all, so, so glad um, you found some products that work for you, my love. Uh, I think it's so important that we kind of get... Um, this is why I love this community, because you guys are always honest. I always recommend things, and you share who it works for and who it doesn't, so I can make like tailor the recommendations. I'm so glad it's working for you. Um, Ultra Sun, I really... So, first of all, Ultra Sun, tried, tested, and verified. So, I always think when it comes to sunscreens, the first thing you should be looking at is, is it actually delivering what it says in the bottle? Ultra Sun, you know it is. I find it's a little bit up there in price, um, but it is a really nice balance between super hydrating and super matte. So if you want something in the middle that kind of blends into the skin, there's no white cast, it doesn't leave you too dewy, but it doesn't leave you too matte, Ultra Sun's a really good option with their face fluid. It is just a little bit up there in price, but I'd say if it's blurred on a step in your skincare routine, SPF is probably a good place to do it. So yeah, I would try. I think with sunscreens, it's all trial and error. You've got to try a lot of them to work out what works well for you. I would probably say um, it's a good option is Ultra Sun. Um, I, yeah, I, I say Ultra Sun is a good option, but you know, try it and work out. We used to be able to go into stores. Do you remember when you used to be able to do a tester on your hand and see how it worked? We kind of can't do that anymore. Um, but yeah, definitely, I do like the brand and they do do um, release all their testing and stuff, which is great. Um, <laughs> Luna says, I love how you spend so long on each question with your tangents. I'm kind of glad you like it. Look, I, I struggle to cut it down. I keep thinking I will be on track with questions. I will be on track with questions and then I'm look, cut to another week and I'm way behind. But I do always say to people, if I don't get around to your question, 
leave it in the comments below and I do go back and I answer them all um, either on the evening or the morning after I will and answer all your questions. Um, Tina says I've been wanting to get the Decium room spray. Tina I kind of I think just go for it. <laughs> it is so good. I love it. It's genuinely I love it. I think what's difficult with when it comes to scent is what I love isn't always necessarily what everyone else will love. I think it's very personal when it comes to scent and I was actually having a discussion with someone you know the Sanskrit Sarpanins cleanser by Neon is my favourite smelling cleanser in the whole world and I was having a conversation with someone the other day that just said I can't stand it the smell just does nothing for me I cannot stand it I'm like it just shows how personal scent is I love it I also quite like the price point because you get a lot for the 15 pounds that they're charging for it so I think that's not too bad I'd say go for it but if anyone else has tried the Decium Rune Spray let me know because me and Tom hardcore fans and um, so you will hear a bad word said against it from us but I don't know if anyone else has shared it or the thoughts and um, Anissa says hi Rob can I layer the Neod's repigment under the neod ethylated acid you can um and i have no issues doing it i've used them too before and it works quite well um, ronnie says i love free samples i love free samples i think i know why brands don't do them and it's because there are some shady people out there and my dad is one of them just as a side note my dad is definitely one of these people that like to go and get the free sample no intention of making that purchase no intention whatsoever my dad is the number one but he sees a free sample it doesn't matter literally they could be giving away free sample of anything revolting in the world if it's free he'll have it and never buy the product and that is why i think brands don't actually actually do free samples as often because people do kind of take the mick but I like a good free sample and I know so often on this channel people that have got free samples and then gone on to purchase the product and um, I always laugh I, I know that Jenny won't mind me calling out Jenny had a free sample of the Neod fractionated eye contour concentrate she dragged that out for months using it sparingly and getting great results and then went on to buy the full product so I kind of think this is a great example of and I did it with what did I do it with recently I tried some of the I'm from products that got the and you know I really like them so I think Free samples can work, but there are a lot of people out there, like my father, that likes to take every free sample going and never commit to the company. And that's why I think they don't do it more often, but I would love to see more companies do it. And anyone that's worried, I did notice that Destin were doing some free samples on their um, eye contour concentrates. So if you can get one of those, do like Jenny, use it because a little goes a long way. You've got like a month's worth in a free sample and then you'll be hooked, but they get you in, they hook you, and then you'll have to buy it time and time again. <laughs> Pajama, Pajama Mama says, I can't believe that I caught alive. I cannot believe you're here, my love. Literally, the number of times I answer your comments, we always have a really good chat on the I've never seen you in a live because I think the time difference doesn't work, but so, so glad you could join. So thank you so, so much. Um, so in terms of um, the serum for, yes, yeah, so you want to know what are the ingredients for the serum um, for my own skincare line, we have, we've got peptides in there. We've got great um, amount of vitamin C derivative in there. We've got some azelaic acid in there. All the good stuff that's kind of going to be an all-in-one for you. We've also got some panthenol in there that's going to calm and soothe the skin. So it's kind of like, I like to think of it as all the things that people miss out of their skincare that you can then put your other favorite things on top of it as well. So it's not long to wait till August and I have now actually committed. I've ordered, I've paid, <laughs> we've committed. There is no going back. And I was terrified like yesterday. I did it all yesterday and I was sat there thinking, oh my God, I've actually committed to this. This is this is really scary. This is really scary. And I was really terrified all yesterday. Then I woke up this morning, we're like so excited. So I think we've got rid of all of that now. And now I'm just super excited to be sharing it with all you guys. Um, Christina says, thanks Rob for describing the anomaly shop room mist. I'm curious to try it. I hope my, I'm no fragrance expert. I always laugh when people, do you remember when you used to watch the wine experts on the telly? And they'd be swilling the wine around and they'd be like, it smells like the ocean and peaches. And you're like, does it? Does it really? Does it? Um, I can't do that, but I hopefully I did it justice. Uh, Linda says, can the face theory azelaic serum be used with other acids? Yes, it can. So azelaic acid is different to the exfoliating acid, so you, you can actually pair it. Um, don't introduce them both at the same time because it might be too sensitising, but you can pair it with other acids, yes. Um, hi Rob, have you ever heard of Revox Skincare? They sell cruelty-free skincare for cheaper than the ordinary. They do. Really hard to get here in the UK. Love it. But... I would like to try it and get my hands on it because cruelty free who doesn't love that and I've heard really good things about them I just haven't been able to try them because they're really hard to get here in the UK Um, sending lots of love Mary welcome my love thank you so much for joining and thank you for putting the like, English pronunciation of your name because I would have butchered any attempt at pronouncing your gorgeous name so thank you so so much for that Neo says favorite vitamin C product oh 
Pure form vitamin C, Geek and Gorgeous C Glow, gorgeous, small batch, made fresh every week, so you know you're getting a fresh batch, stunning. Um, in terms of um, vitamin C derivative, I love the ordinary um, a scoreboard tetra isopalmitate solution in vitamin F. And I, you only asked that question because you wanted to see me butcher that pronunciation and have to spit it out. <laughs> But yeah, I love this Gobble Tetra Isopalmitate solution. So, so good. Diana S, welcome, my love. Has your opinion changed of the Skinny Sunscreen after Lab Muffin's video reviewing the data behind it? Diana, it hasn't at all. I think this is where we can get obsessed with the... I think with sunscreen, you have to look at the data. And I'm a big fan of science and the data. And this is not to discredit Lab Muffin. I love her work. I love what she does. She has a very different take to a lot of things than I do. And I think that's great. You know, I think we can share. We should be open to appreciating other people's thoughts. I watched her video. I watched all her content. Um, I, I disagreed. I, you know, I, I disagreed with the premise behind it because I, I do see where she's coming from in terms of the term pea size amount can be misleading. And whilst skinnies do say use a pea size amount, I would always say, you know, use what you feel comfortable with in terms of making sure you're getting that great coverage. And um, so it hasn't actually changed and I still use it. I've got it here, so I can't reach it. It's over there somewhere. I do use it and I love the skinny sunscreen. I went to um, Gibraltar, I've got family over in um, Gibraltar where it's super sunny all um summer and it was i was on the beach uh, in and out of the water and i used a sun skinny sunscreen i had no issues whatsoever um barely even tanned so i think sometimes you do have to follow the data but i also think you know we can take our own experiences of products as well i love skinnies i love the brand i love the product not sponsored by them, not in day, you know, I have no relationship with them, um, and I really love them. I would recommend everybody to check out Lab Muffin's um, videos. I think she offers something really great in terms of that scientific approach. I fundamentally disagree with quite a few opinions, but I think we should be doing that. You know, we should be here to discuss that and to share that, and I'm not right. Doesn't mean, you know, you've kind of got to weigh up um, two options and make your own decision on these things. Um, Kelly C says, hi, Rob. It's a busy Saturday, but I'm here sending lots and lots of love, my love. I've just finished up using my my medicate retinol and i switched over to different loving the results i love a bit of different i love my adapalene it works so well on my oily acne prone skin i would recommend everyone try it if you're struggling with acne and breakouts so good Dennis says revolution skincare has a peeling serum with azelaic acid in it it does i haven't tried it because it was recently launched here in the uk but i love it so i definitely will be trying it and because i love the look of it so i'll definitely be trying it um, Mary Don says, hi there everyone, do you recommend using copper peptide? Oh, the Dermatology Needless Serum, that's a really good serum, in the AM with ascorbic acid or in the PM. I do it in the PM with retinol. I think it will work really well with retinol. With ascorbic acid, it can be a little bit problematic. Easier to just use it in the evening with retinol and you'll get some great results, my love. Um, t oh, Tina says, and this is actually, th I'm well behind with these comments, so I do apologise, but Think Sport Face is mineral and super moisturising. Thank you so much for calling that out, Tina. I have never tried it, um, but that's a really good option. If if anyone does know of any super moisturising mineral sunscreens, call it out because um, they can be so hard to find. So Think Sport is a really good one to look at then. Rui F, welcome, my love. Thanks so much for joining. Sylvia D, hey there, just wants to thanks for your videos. It's a pleasure, my love, and sending lots and lots of love to Paris. Um, Sophie says, hi, Sat happy Saturday, Rob. Sending lots of love, my love. Um, I have a question. Can azelaic acid be used in the same routine as peptides? Yes. Um, it works really well with peptides. It's not the same as some acids can be a little problematic because it tends to not have such a low pH. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend it in the same routine as peptides. No issue whatsoever. Um, now we are coming, we've got 15 more minutes, so I'm going to get through loads more questions. Do not worry. I've got to have a little, I've got another cat hair. How is that even possible? I'm going to have a sip, last sip of my tea. As soon as this video, uh, this live stream finishes, we're going to head over to the um, today's video, which is on my evening skincare routine. So hopefully you guys will join me um, over there to watch that. It automatically sends people over there. You don't have to stay. If you don't if you don't have the time to stay, just click the like button, <laughs> shimmy it off. But hopefully you will join me for that because I'm sharing some new products and some new hints and tips and things in that. And um, if you haven't already, if you could um, click that like button to support the channel, I'll have a sip, last sip of my tea. Hello. So Judy says, greetings from sending lots and lots of love to anyone over in the US. Cam says, hey, is salicylic acid effective in a face wash? I've Googled it many times. It seems to be highly contested. Um, so yes, in summary. Oh. oh, I think we had a bit of buffering there. So I do apologize. I think it's come back. Let me just double check the strength of that before I go on with that question. 
Let me just check the strength of the streaming. We're all good. Sorry, I think there was a bit of an internet glitch there. So sorry to everyone that had to look at my face drinking tea for like five minutes um so yes yeah, salicylic acid face washes they are scientifically proven um to um they are scientifically proven to help with um breakouts and to do a light exfoliation i think it's a good option for people that are looking for a gentle salicylic in their routine it is i know that there's data is disputed but i use it on my chicken skin on the back of my arms and on my acne and it works for me so i kind of the proof is in whether i get results from it and i do so i totally recommend it if you want um salicylic acid if you want all the benefits of it in a serum you're obviously going to get more potency because it's left on the skin but it does work for me in a uh, wash claire says do you have an opinion on keels as a brand i get asked about keels a lot i find them a little bit on the pricey side i don't think they're bad by any stretch i think some of their products are great but i think they're a little bit pricey for what they offer and all their packaging looks the same which makes me a total hypocrite because i love the ordinary and all their packaging is the same but something i find quite confusing about keels where i can't really work out what i want to try what i'm using i find it a bit confusing uh, but i have no issue with them as a brand i think they're great i just haven't gravitated towards them and tried much of them um job g says hi do you um hi do you know the azelaic acid 10 percent from revox it costs three euros for 30 mils that is a price i don't know that i'm gonna check that out so thank you so much for bringing that to my attention i love 10 percent azelaic acid gorgeous strength for basically four euros which is about three pounds stunning so i'll have to check out revox because i haven't actually tried much but i think they are a brand to watch out for um you know here says i um, i have a peptide serum and a tranexamic acid serum good molecules great brand i can't figure out which one i should go on the night and which during the day peptide during the day tranexamic acid at the night always use your tranexamic acid in the evening because i find that's where you're going to get the best most potency um Rui says best youtube channel Thank you, Rui. Too, too kind, my love. Isabel says, best tranexamic acid in K-Beauty. Oh, oh, I don't know in K-Beauty. The one I use is the Inculus tranexamic acid uh, overnight treatment. Great product, works so well. I don't know in K-Beauty. I'll have to have a look and I'll leave it in the um, description box. I'll have a look. Um, Christy says, happy Saturday. Thoughts on prickly pear and eye cream. Just ordered the typology eye cream. Uh, don't judge me. I know they're not necessary. They're not necessary, but I've got a whole lot of typology here. Love, I'll just cover the old address there, but I love, love, love the brand. Um, totally, totally in love with them. Prickly pear, great. It's a nice oil. Um, it's not going to add super amounts to your routine in terms of the oil itself, but it's hydrating. It layers really well. It's a nice, it's definitely a nice um, addition. The eye cream from typology is really good. So yes, you don't need an eye cream, but if you want one, go for one that's at least going to add some benefit and the typology one will. Super hydrating and will help with any cream us around the eye as well. Ellie Roll says, hi Rob, what's the best mineral sunscreen for oily skin with a matte finish? Oh, I use, there's two that I recommend. I love, love, love the Inculist one. That works really well, super matte finish, works beautifully well for my oily acne prone skin, but it's slightly tinted. So if you're on my skin tone, um, or lighter, that'll work for you. If you're darker skin toned, I think that might be a bit problematic. Um, what are the other ones I really, really like in terms of, oh, my survival. I love the survival by Neod. That's perfectly matte, like so hydrating and yet perfectly matte. The survival 30, absolute holy grail. I love that. Um, oh, this is, this is, I love the fact that you guys are sharing some great hydrating mineral SPFs. I haven't tried any of these, but the Dr. Jenis Gross has a broad spectrum SPF 50 with vitamin C, very moisturizing. Thanks Abigail for sharing that. I haven't tried it, but I love, love, love um, all your recommendations for sharing because I tend not to go for moisturizing mineral sunscreens because I'm so oily, so I don't have as much experience, so share all your recommendations. Caitlin says, hi Rob, my first ever live. Caitlin, I'm so, so glad you could join. Love your channel. I just started retinol and was wondering if there's a good moisturizer you recommend to use with it. I would actually, honestly, Caitlin, I go for a cheap moisturizer and add your favorite facial oil to it. That will create your own blend. It will add so much more benefit than any other moisturizer you can buy and go for something that's cheap so you can use a lot of it and you don't feel like you're scrimping because I think Larry Wearing it on is probably going to be our friend when it comes to retinol. If you're oily skinned, get a rosehip seed oil. If you're dry skinned, go for a jojoba seed oil or any other. Just, I find two drops in a cheap moisturizer transforms it into the best product ever. Um, uh, let's have a look. Um, BB Sales says, oh my God, I almost missed it. Well, I'm glad you could join us, my love. Do not worry. Anyone that worries they missed a bit of it, it's always on replay straight away after, so you can always go back and watch the bits that you missed. Um, 
to, uh, I'm going to go with it. We have another five minutes. So I've got plenty of questions. Do not worry. I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through and pick a few um, questions out in terms of the ones that I've been asked most frequently. If I didn't, if I missed your question, I'm so, so sorry. And if I didn't get around to answering your question, just leave it in the comments below and I go back and answer all the questions personally um, afterwards or in the following morning. So you will get an answer. Um, let's have a, oh, Kitty says, enjoying, sending lots of love to Greece, Kitty. Enjoying the Facebook group, a very important question. What's your star sign? I am a Gemini. So read into that what you would like. <laughs> um, uh, William says, when am I going to start teasing with Mad About Skin product pictures? Um, William, probably in the next couple of weeks you can expect an update. Tight-lipped, but in the next couple of weeks. Mark W says, um, what can I use as an exfoliating acid if I'm using tretinoin? Um, I'd probably go lactic acid, hydrating, but really good at getting that glow back and get rid of all that dead flaky skin that you'll get from your tret. Uh, Danny says, um, what products and ingredients should everyone have in their skincare routine? Something that never should be missing. A cleanser that matches your skin type, a retinol, um, and a peptide. Those are my three recommendations. Um, Amy Jane says, hi Rob, this is my first live. Thank you so, so much for joining, Amy, my love. Um, what schedule should I use for retinol and lactic acid? Um, I would use, oh, I think I answered this anyway, but I'll reiterate the point. Lactic acid in the morning, retinol in the evening. You can use them on the same day. Lactic acid is a great option because it's so hydrating. Um, let's have a look and see if I've got any um, other questions. Um, lots of people are saying they love salicylic acid face washes. Such a great thing. I do genuinely think you get benefit. I know the science is a bit sketchy, but do you know what? Proof of the pudding is whether it works, and it does definitely work for me. Um, Jill says, um, had my vaccine, vaccine yesterday, feeling a little bit unwell. Jill, I know a lot of people the next day feel a bit meh, and it's all good. But I think, like you say, it's just glad to have it and good. So anyone that has it lined up, I know here in the UK we're rattling through them. Anyone that's got it lined up, good luck, and I hope it all um, goes well for you. Um, we've got Ra hi from Oklahoma sending lots of love to Cooper doll um, if you could do a video about um, after cleansing rinsing the pH to go on with other products please yes pH is really important when it comes to I think sometimes it's overstated but it does play a good part in getting the most benefit from your products so I'm happy to do a video on that my love I go back and I watch this live the next day and I make um, a note of all the things that I promised so do not worry I'll go back and I'll remember it DM13 welcome my love I so so glad to see you my love i think you've commented earlier and i missed it so i'm so so sorry but sending you lots and lots of love and i hope you're having an amazing weekend um as you say good point 150 people watching click the like button absolutely if you haven't clicked the like button yet this is honestly the busiest live we've ever had so many new people which is so, i'm so so grateful for and um, if you haven't you know clicked gently that like button now is the great time to do it i'm going to take two more questions and then we're going to seamlessly segue into today's video which is my evening skincare routine if you want to see me two reasons why you should stay around for that one i did my evening skincare routine after brushing my teeth and i have a toothpaste stain on my pajamas throughout the whole video too late to refilm it hopefully no one notices but i've given you a heads up so you can all read me to filth for that and secondly i try on some of the patches that i've been raving about for weeks and weeks and weeks and i basically end up looking like freddy krueger so if you want a laugh the next video that I'll shimmy you all over onto in a minute will definitely be one for you. I've got time for a couple of questions, so I'm going to um, bash through two quick ones. Anna says, um, oh, again, supporting the um, use of salicylic acid wash. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, let's have a look. Um, Brittany says, hi, Rob. I just like to ask, how are you today? Brittany, thank you so much. Do you know what? We often find... I. I think this is something I've been trying to do a lot of in um, when people, you know, we've had our lockdowns, a lot of stuff is going in the last couple of years and no one ever, you know, I, I've always been trying to ask people how they are. So thank you so much, Brittany. I, yeah, I love all of you for being so generous and thoughtful and kind and um, I, I'm doing really well. There's a lot of people out there that are struggling. I'm sending my lots and lots of love to all of them. I'm doing really well. I've got a great support network. This channel keeps me going because I love filming content for you guys. This live stream, I started this um because i kind of wanted you know for people a bit of an outlet when we're all bored in our lockdowns and all of this and then i started the live stream and it's just become my favorite part of the week i love it love it love it jenny says oh this is true so jenny says josie moran has a very hydrating mineral um spf they're both tinted and non-tinted josie moran is stunning stunning spf a little bit on the pricey side but works so well and i have only used the tinted and the tinted works so well for my skin tone if you're darker than me um, in terms of your skin tone i'll probably go for the non-tinted but it's great that you've got an option and i love josie moran so yes jenny you're a staff calling that out fully recommend it pammy says um what are your thoughts on um spf mineral face mists 
I don't tend to use spray um, SPFs and mists because I think you're spraying you, you're spraying everyone around you. You know, that person on the sun lounger reading their book and their Kindle to getting a whole load in the face as well. It's kind of a bit messy and imprecise, but people that do want to just spritz and go, I'd rather people use it than don't use an SPF. So work with what works for you, the amount of time you have. Um, I wouldn't recommend you know, throwing on, um, just as long as you're wearing SPF is all that matter. So I'd rather people use a spray SPF than no SPF at all. Um, if that makes sense, um, t -t 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 uh, let's have a look. I'm going back. I have missed some comments, so I'm so, so sorry. I try to work through them all in order, but obviously we get so many comments, which is great. Um, it can be a little bit difficult to ca keep up. So if I did miss your comment or whatever, please just leave it in um, the comments below and I will get back to your question straight away um, and I'll make sure I get back to you. Um, um, let's have a look. Um, Michelle, final question. Michelle says, have you ever tried the Drunk Elephant A Passioni Retinol Cream? I have. It was my go-to for years. I love it. Super strong, super strength. One of the strongest not prescription free retinols out there, but it's really expensive. And I prefer the Geek and Gorgeous um, A Game 10, I think it's called. It's a better price point for a similar strength product. I'd probably recommend that. But I do like the, I don't like Drunk Elephant, but I do like the Drunk Elephant A Passione Retinol Cream. So there we have it, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I'm going to whiz everyone over to today's video, which is a live premiere. So I'm going to keep chatting. So hopefully you join me there and we'll keep chatting as we go through my evening skincare routine. Few surprises, few things in there that you might want to uh, learn. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for everyone that um, joined today. Busiest live we've ever had. I say that every week because they're growing and going from strength to strength. So thank you so, so much. If you haven't already, um, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe. And I'm going to segue seamlessly over to today's video, my evening skincare routine. See you over there.